Hello and welcome to the new blog for today's crossword, 11th of September. Um, today we're going to do something that Mark did for the quick cryptic um, a couple of days ago with the normal times cryptic. So I'm going to work through it. Um, depending on how long the video gets, we may have to stop a little bit early, but um, basically you solve along with me. I'll give you hints as to what I think the clue's about and then you can pause the video and put in your answers. So let's see how we go. Okay. Disco near Bath accommodating 150. Uh, no, I don't know what that's about. Reason heads of LEAs offer Okay, well, so this, this one should be fairly accessible. The, the definition here is reason. And heads of LEAs offer grants is controversial, is an instruction to look at starting letters. So you should pause the video. I'm going to type in the answer now. Let's try and use these letters and see where that takes us. Philosopher left old Anglicans hosting king. Well, how interesting. Um, I don't know if any of you solved yesterday's puzzle, but I'm fairly sure this answer came up yesterday. Um, so here we're looking for a philosopher. And then the word play breaks down as left is L, old is O. Anglicans, whenever you see that in crosswords, um, or if you see the word church or something like that, always be thinking of the Church of England. Uh, so CE for C of E um, uh, is the abbreviation that will be helpful. And hosting King, well, King actually has a variety of abbreviation, well, two in particular. So it, it's normally either K or R. Um, R for Rex, as in Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, so you should be putting one of those abbreviations into the other abbreviations we've mentioned. Hopefully you should pause the video. You might remember lock. I'm, I'm pretty certain that was in yesterday. Um, very strange. Um, so let's look at seven down. Uh, craft crossing lock on annual check finds diver. Mm. Okay, so we're almost certainly looking for some sort of bird there, but I'm not. No. Contents of board that said to make you smile. Okay, so um, this is a sort of a pun. Um, the, the definition here is contents of board. You have to come up with the right sort of board. We're not talking about a games board here. We're talking about something you might eat off. Um, and something that's said to make you smile. Um, you need to think about the right context. Uh, and a word that's said to make you smile in that context. And um, you should pause the video. And the answer is cheese. Okay, so let's have a look at 10 across. I have to follow wretched court order. I have to follow wretched court order. Uh, okay, yes, I have got that. Right. So when you see an expression like I have in these puzzles, that's very often abbreviated to I've. So immediately when I look at this clue, I can see I have to follow. I'm looking at putting an IVE at the end of this answer. Now that tells me that the, the definition is either order or court order. And here, the positioning of the C that we already have, and the fact that I am aware that court is very often abbreviated to CT, tells me that I'm probably looking for a word that means order. And I know that it ends like that. So I need a four-letter word for wretched that I can put at the start of this, this string of letters to give a word for order. So pause the video while you think. I'm going to put in the answer now. Directive. Okay. Let's have a look at 12 across. 
State is defending Republican support for plants. My heart always sinks when I see this sort of clue because it looks immediately... Well, I was going to say I thought it was a, the definition was just plants and it's so, uh, you know, all-encompassing that it could almost be anything. But in fact, I'd misread it. And the, the definition is, in fact, support for plants, which is a lot easier. Um, so here the word play breaks down as a four-letter word for state. And that could obviously be a country or it could be um, as in to say. Um, and then is is simply is. And defending Republican means we need to put put our word for state and is around an R for Republican. So pause the video. The answer is trellis. Crossing the lock and check. Find. Okay. So I have now got this one. Um, I was right. It is a bird. And... So we're looking for a nine letter bird fitting this pattern. Craft crossing lock on annual check. Well, the annual check, so a um, very common thing you see with these puzzles, the word on in a down clue means that, you know, the first bit of it is going to be placed over the second bit of it. So we're looking for a three letter annual check here. Um, and it's a check in the context of vehicles. I'll tell you that. And then at the top, we're looking for a five letter word for craft that's crossing an L. L is a, an abbreviation for lock um, that you sometimes see in these puzzles. So you should pause. Oh, curse is all going all over the place. And there you go. So now let's have a look at five down. Ooh, a retired hatter, I believe, can stock priest's headgear. Okay, so this is a, uh, an example of one of the clues we've mentioned many times where there is a hidden answer. And the word retired here is, is telling you that it's a reversed hidden. So you need to look for a word that's hidden in the words hatter, I believe. And then can stock is telling you that it's a hidden. And it's a priest's a piece of pre priest's headgear. So pause the video. Oops, the answer is Beretta. This is a okay. I've now got one across, which is um, it's a very nice clue. So let's let's go to it. Disco near Bath, accommodating 150, is a lovely surface actually. Um, when you see uh, numbers, especially n numbers like this, 150, always be thinking of their Roman numeral equivalent. So here we're, we're, we're looking at CL. So we're looking for, uh, it's, it's two words, a word that means near, followed by a word for a bath. And we're going to put those words around CL. For a word that means a nine letter word that means disco. So have a think about that. Pause the video. The answer is nightclub. Now that should be very helpful, hopefully. So let's have a look at um, one down. A bird which interrupts New Union chapter. Uh, yes, okay, I think I have got that. Um, Again, a little bit of knowledge helps here in terms of abbreviations. There are there already seem to have been a lot of abbreviations in this puzzle. Um, so here, new and union will be abbreviated to N for new and U for union. Sometimes with U, you sometimes see union to be trades union, TU, but here it's just U. Um, and then chapter. I think can also be C, but here is CH. So we're looking for to put NUCH around a four letter word that means which. 
and the whole thing means a bird, so pause now. The answer is not hatch. Two, two birds so far, let's see if we find any more. A delta follows it a short distance into Georgia. Okay, so again, this, this is a good puzzle actually to do this, this sort of solve on because it's, um, it's relatively accessible so far. Um, so the definition here is delta follows it, which could be a geographical reference or possibly an alphabetical reference. And then a short distance. That's one of those awkward things where um, you're almost certainly looking for an abbreviation of some small measure of distance, whether it's centimeter, so it could be cm, millimeter, mm, inch. Um, so you need to sort of think about the possibilities there. And into Georgia, well, um, GA is the um, abbreviation used for the American state of Georgia. It's possibly the IVR for, for the country of Georgia as well. I'm not sure, but I'm, I think it's referring to the American state. So pause, and the answer is gamma. Okay, retiring in order mainly to pen note. Uh, okay. Okay, I do know the answer then, but I'm going to come back to that because I need to think about the word play um, because I'm not immediately understanding it. Um, one who studies a line in some way. No, I'm not sure about that one either. Let's come back to it. Um, fluffy toy, cami knickers, English, displayed in pub. Hmm, okay. Well, I think that the answer is going to be the, uh, the name of a fluffy toy. And that might immediately allow you to uh, hone in on the, uh, on the answer just without even having to study the wordplay. Um, the wordplay breaks down as a five letter word for cami knickers, which you may or may not be familiar with depending on your um, knowledge of female underwear. Um, and then English E displayed in pub. So you need to look for a three letter word for a pub. Um, and if you pause, the answer is teddy bear. Let's come back to this one now because this one now looks like I can only think of one word that fits here. One who studies is the definition. Uh, a line, well, a line will be uh, A L. L is very often abbreviated to line. So we need to put A L um, in something that means in some way. Um, and that's, that's quite actually quite a tricky breakdown. So it's a three letter word that means some. And then one of the two common abbreviations for way. So you're either going to be looking for RD for road or ST um, for street. So pause the video. And the answer there is analyst. Uh, landlord briefly hugs poster girl who's feisty. Landlord briefly hugs poster. Okay. Okay, yes. So, um, the definition here is girl who's feisty. That's quite a modern term. Um, and then you're looking for a, a six letter word for a landlord, um, which you need to shorten to be five. That's what briefly is encouraging you to do. Around the edge of one of the common two letter words for poster. And here it's an advert, so it's an ad. So we can see from the, the letters we already have that we can actually only place AD in one position in the answer here. So we need to come up with the rest of it, which is a shortened word for landlord. Um, so pause the video. 
and the answer is Ladette. Okay, so you may well be able to write this answer in just looking at the um, the letters we have and the you know the breakages between the words. So the clue to this is going to be uh, the best. That's what we're looking for. Hundred soldiers twice accepting poor deal. So hundred again is one of these Roman numeral um, references. So you're looking for a C. One of the that there are unfortunately in crosswords about twenty probable def, possible definitions for soldiers. I mean, just off the top of my head, you've got the other ranks that we saw the other day, which is OR. You've got RE for Royal Engineers. You've got RA for Royal Artillery. You've got GIs for uh, you know American soldiers um, and lots more besides, but. Here we're looking for, for one of those abbreviations and then we need to put that around an anagram uh, of, of deal, which is what poor deal is referring to, and then add on a further um, abbreviation for soldiers, which I've, I've just understood then looking at the wordplay. So pause the video. And there we go, creme de la creme. Oops, there we go. Okay, so we've made good, we've done half a puzzle now. I don't know whether to stop there or carry on. Maybe we'll go a bit further. Um, what happens in autumn bar the start to earwig? Okay, nice clue. Um, so we're looking for a nine letter word meaning to earwig. Um, what happens in autumn? Well, you need to think about what happens um, to trees in autumn and then knock the start off. So pause the video. And that's leaves drop without the, the start. And we'll look at 17 across, which is the other very long answer. Um, finished article opposite can be sold legally. Okay, so the definition here is um, so, um, sold legally. Um, and then the wordplay bro breaks up as three words. Um, so finished is the first word, then a word which is an article, which is an article of speech. So, you know, you can have the indefinite articles or the definite article. And then finally, a word that means opposite. So have a think about that in the context, especially of the, the letters we already have. And pause the video. OK, so hopefully that one wasn't too difficult. Stumble carrying drinks for journey there and back. OK. Okay, so here the definition is it's quite unusual. It's actually journey there and back, which might immediately allow you to guess the answer looking at what we already have. Um, and the word play breaks down as a word for stumble underneath a word for drinks. And that's what carrying is referring to, those stumbling, stumble carrying drinks. Um, and it's, it's quite a nice clue actually because drinks makes you think that there must be an S in, in the word for drinks but here it's um, that isn't the case so pause round trip here in this sort of position I would be tempted to go across to 20 across just because it would really break open the bottom half but let's continue with uh, the, the clues we have starting letters for. Uh, ring paper about unknown farm store. Um, okay. Yes, I have got that one. Um, so here, what we need to do is know that the answer is a farm store. Um, and any of you who did 
or followed the vlog a few days ago or rem probably remember a very unusual anagram we came across. Well, that might help you to guess the first part of this word here. Um, you're looking for a four letter word for a ring, followed by a two letter abbreviation for a paper. So think about the papers that uh, daily papers you see in the UK. One of them is a fairly well known abbreviation uh, around an unknown. And the unknowns will either be X, Y, or Z. Um, so in the context of a farm store, I think one of those is far more likely. So have a think about that. Pause. And the answer is Hayloft. And that's the FT you're seeing at the bottom there. So, uh, right. Da -da -da -da. Joke here in the middle, seven letters. Um, no, I know what I want that to be, but I'm not quite understanding why, so let's come back to that one. Firm to consume beer to control depression. Okay, yeah, I, I, was, I didn't read that very helpfully to um, for, for viewers to understand the correct way to break down that clue. Um, so it's nice wording, actually. So. The definition here is firm to consume, which is quite surprising. And then we're looking for a word for beer around the edge of a four letter word for depression. So have a think about that. There are, I think, only a very few possibilities for a short word for beer. Um, and pause, and there's the answer. 24 down. Record low promotion among. Northern Irish. Um, okay, yes. <laughs> and interesting that we saw poster being used as an abbreviation for advert um, earlier on, and here we see promotion being used for the same uh, abbreviation. Um, and so, so you can see, hopefully, that the definition here is record low, and we're we're looking for to put the AD inside an abbreviation for Northern. Well, you can probably guess what that is, and an abbreviation for Irish. Um, and well, without wanting to give too much away, that's very often IR. So pause. And you can see that I think the trick there with that clue is not so much um, the wordplay, which once you read the clue correctly, is very, very simple. It's reading the clue correctly. It's it's being able to spot that the clue, the definition is actually record low, rather than record or Northern Irish, I think. Let's have a look at 16 down. Angus Guy upended in dull vegetation. Um, okay. That must be, I can see what the answer must be. I just can't quite justify it. So let's come back to that. Uh, center around top of Grampian range. Or canter. In fact, that would, that would have been uh, uh, <laughs> much harder. Um, so we're looking for a four letter word that means canter. Around a G at the top of Grampian. With the whole thing meaning range. So pause, and that's the answer. Let's have a look at this one. Political group to write wise, so to speak, to embrace role. To write wise. Okay. Um, so here, it's. I mean, it looks like it must be a political group. Uh, especially looking at the letters that we have. Um, and then I'm not quite sure about how the, the, the answer breaks down, but some of the things I'm seeing here are the to embrace role makes me think we need to look put part in the middle. So let's just do that. So we can see, I think, I'm not going to insult anyone's intelligence, the, 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 it must be 
Uh, I've understood it now. Okay, it, it's it's something party, a political group. Well, I think think we can all guess what this might be because Tea Party won't fit. It's Tory Party, and the the clever thing here is that we've got two right being two R, and then wise, so to speak, um, is indicating that we need to have two letter Y's um, with the homophone indicator indicator around the edge. So that's very nice. So it's not something I actually can remember seeing before. Um, y's, so to speak, for um, two letter Y's. Um, but it's very nice. I guess there aren't too many clues that, or too many words that have two Y's in them. Um, so yeah, good clue. Let's now look, let's look at 20 down. Scrubbing top doctor put on extremely intimate garment. Hmm. Okay, so just, just so that you know what I'm thinking here. In fact, I have got this now. Um, slightly trickier answer. Um, the way I, I back into it is that I, I can see that the definition is garment. And... The words extremely intimate shout to me that I need to be looking at the extreme letters in the word intimate. So I'm, I want to put an IE at the end. Let's just do that. So I'm looking for a five letter word for a doctor. I'm going to take the top of that word, take the first letter away, and I'm going to be left uh, with four letters that can add to the IE and get a word for a garment. So have a think about that. Pause the video. The answer, I think, is onesie. So bones is an. I'm not sure if it's an old word. I think I, I think it. I think it is an old word for a doctor. Um, perhaps uh, also used in Star Trek. I think maybe I'm wrong about that. Um, so now you can see. I, I'm going to stop now because we're, we're we're heading on for half an hour, and we want to keep these videos short as often as we can. But I think. Uh, let's leave the rest of it as an exercise for the viewer. Um, got a lot of starting letters there. Um, this definitely is a good puzzle for, for um, relatively inexperienced solvers, I think, um, because there's uh, you can get quite a lot of traction from the grid. It's not nearly as um, difficult to understand where the definitions are as, say, the puzzle was yesterday. Um, so this, this is really worth spending some time on, I think, if you're relatively inexperienced. And I hope that's helpful, and we'll see you again tomorrow.